Hello. Do you like GSAP? Do you like st scroll trigger? Yeah, yeah, I like it too. That's why I coded a Briggs child theme. On this theme, I implemented some settings. I mean, it was it was in my mind for a while. For example, like secu security settings, disabling XML, RSS, changing the login error because WordPress login gives information what's wrong if it is email exists, username exists or not and stuff. So that's why just making error for error without giving information. Good security measure. Uh, oh, and we can enable the... <laughs> theme update automatically because when there is no theme update you cannot click update button okay so you cannot like enable auto update you can do it on the plugins you can select the plugins and any you can enable the auto update per plugin even if it doesn't have any version you can do that but you can't do it on the themes. That's why I implement that settings too. Mm -hmm. This this features usually exist on my client child theme. I mean, I was using all of these features and more for my uh, client projects, but GSAP wasn't implemented. I created an abstract layer, just like mm, how should I explain this? Yeah, let me show it. As you know, there's interactions in Bricks, but there is no GSAP scroll-based interactions, right? Just like Webflow or Elementor. I think this is the one of the biggest features Bricks is missing. I mean, Bricks has great features. That's why I'm using it. But this scroll trigger feature, I mean, it has to be in here like already. What do you guys think? I don't know. That, that's my That's my logic. I would like to know what you guys think too. So, of course, on interactions, we cannot set anything. Uh, animation, there's only fade in, fade out, and state based. Right? Yeah. And I made it almost as simple like this, like interactions. When you enable the, let's make it first, it comes, all of the settings comes empty, disabled, okay? So when you check the JavaScript, there is no GSAP and when you enable it, it will add the GSAP scroll trigger and my implementation abstract layer. I will show it how it works. Let's check. I enable settings. See, now we have the GSAP script and it is really easy to use. You just need to add attributes. We are going to use the bricks attributes. For example, let's select this button. I already added some animations on this one. For example, this one has minus 100 pixel movement, opacity from zero. So everything from zero, first of all, and start position and position. We can disable that. For example, if we disable it, it will uh, default what I mean is it goes to the default start and ending okay and I made it top 80% like lower lower okay let's save it it will just move X minus 100 and opacity from zero and markers enabled for this button yeah this one let's see refresh okay Markers enabled, going down, and you see it is just moving 100 pixel from minus position to zero position, and from uh, zero opacity to opacity one. Simple. That's it. Like that's the only thing you need to do when you use this <laughs> script. It's really easy, and there are settings. I made simple examples, couple of them, and the list, what you can do with it. So, of course, it doesn't support all the GSAP features yet. I'm still working on it. I focused on 
what I use most, okay? I usually use XY movement. I usually use opacity. I usually use rotation, scale. And you can combine all of this with together. So it is like infinite possibilities when you start to combine, combine these uh, features, attrib attributes. And you can change the start end if you want to, don't like the default, okay? And you can scrub it. You can pin it. You can enable the markers to see if it is working or not. And toggle class, I don't use. Yeah, you can enable add active stuff. I don't use it, but exist. Pin spacing, you can specify it like mar margin padding. I think this is two option, right? Let's check. Yeah. Let's check the oh false. Okay, it can be default is false. Okay, and it can be margin. Okay, so you can you can check the settings. Like if you want to know uh, what feature has other options because this is like just simple settings simple uh, examples but every settings come comes from the directly from the core so you can add it more as long as it's it's it is represented here like if if they are saying it that means it is exist you can use it okay if you find any box please just uh, create an issue. I mean, if you know how to make pull request, you can even make pull request. It's fine. So I already pushed it on the GitHub. Yeah, that's it. That's what I made. I mean, uh, have fun with it. Use it. Tell me what we can do more with it. Because uh, I'm thinking about adding more settings in time. And I'm, I am developing this first for myself because I am using these settings all the time and I want to uh, eliminate as much as plugin as possible I mean I do have motion page I have motion page lifetime but it, this installs so many libraries like I don't need it I just need like like 90% of the time I just need this that's it x y opacity scale like movement simple movements I'm pretty sure you guys need this simple moments most of the time too. That's why this can be really useful. At least that's what I think. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.